you're a high school basketball player and you actually want to get results this summer so you can either make the team or get more play time this upcoming season for your high school team. I will break down three simple ways that you can maximize your time this summer and get guaranteed results. Let's dive in. Number one, your commitments. So instead of talking about goal setting, I want to talk about commitments because it is something that you must be committed to getting better at by the end of the summer, right? Some, you know, high schools have longer summers and shorter summers, right? And you can kind of tailor the dates. So I want you to make sure that by this date, I will be better at X. All right. So what you want to be better at, you want to choose three specific basketball skills and choose one. That's your top priority. The number one thing you need to get better at by the end of summer. I would do your best at to ask if you can ask your whatever coach right that you know that you are either going to play for or try out for if it's possible what skills they believe all right that you should work on if you know that coach you should then value what they value right so if they you know see you know you could be a shooter right you better become a knockdown shooter right very simple right don't just go work on what you want to work on work on what will actually get you play time and again choose three three basketball skills you want to be dramatically better at and you're committed to being better at by the end of the summer and then circle one that is your top priority you will be doing that every single day that you are training all right next would be choosing a commitment to be what athletic athletic trait will you be better at by the end of the summer. So if you were in younger high school, when it's eighth, ninth, maybe even 10th grade, I would go with general strength, just general um, speed, general um, vertical. Now, you start to get a little bit older, you are a high school sophomore, high school junior, going into your junior or senior year, I would start to get a little bit more specific on your athleticism traits, right? Are you a big, strong guard? Do you need to get stronger? Are you someone who's nimble and you need to make sure that your footwork is quicker and that you have a higher vertical? You have to know what position you are at so you can best choose. And then lastly, choose a you know, a leadership trait or a, a mental game trait that you are going to work on and you are going to commit to being better at. There is a ton of them out there, right? You can get better at communication. You can get better at bringing energy to sessions. You can get better at, you know, um, being direct and, and having tough conversations. It's really up to you. You can get better at self-talk and, and the mental game. You can get better at leading yourself first. So there's a lot of different aspects and avenues, right? Just make sure you are committed to three basketball skills, one athletic trait and one leadership slash mental game at the minimum, right? We don't want to overdo it, right? We want to make sure we are focused and that's how we're going to get results. So let's dive into number two. Number two is make a plan. So I want you to schedule out what other priorities do you have in your life? You have a life beyond basketball and I know that, right? Do you have summer school? Do you have a significant other? Do you have family vacation plans? Do you want to spend time with your friends, right? You're still young, right? You should probably want to spend time with your friends. I, I highly encourage that. You want to have a life outside of basketball. So know what's going on, right? In general, what's your, you know, your schedule and then work basketball, right? If it's basketball is a high priority, you'll get that done either in the mornings or you'll make sure that you find time for basketball. And so with that being said, right, what basketball commitments do you have? Do you have a private trainer? Are you in a group skills training with some clinics? Or are you, are you playing, you know, either your high school basketball team or your club basketball team? When are those practices, right? And, and I'll touch a little bit on, on team practices first. Um, as someone that is a high school basketball coach and a club basketball coach right we want to get as much individual development as we can into our practices however we do have to go over team concepts that may take time away from your top three commitments especially your number one commitment your number one commitment you have to be doing that every single day so an example is when we are building out our schedule we want to build out a schedule that is repeatable 
So there is something called cues and cues QR habits. So what time of the day I would choose right for your training sessions. Let's say you want to you are 100% committed to getting better at shooting, right? And I have I, I always encourage one day off, although with shooting, you can probably do some form work every single day, right? Um, let's say that you want to become a great shooter, you have two club practices, and you have two group training practices. So there's four scheduled workouts before your individual workouts. Well, and, and then you also work as well. Um, so you have about, you know, two to three hours of spare time a day. I would make sure I get up at least 30 minutes of shots every single day if that's my number one commitment, right? And the, and the great thing is when you have a club practice or a high school practice or some other group skills training, if you can try and get there 15 minutes early, boom, I can get up 15 minutes of shots there before and 15 minutes of shots after, right, where you're maximizing that time. I would make sure I would spend for my schedule, for my plan, I would either use Sunday or Monday to Make sure that I plan out my entire week. I'm going to work on this this day, this this day, and I'm going to be in the weight room these days. All right, and schedule out. Don't don't go by the wind, right? Don't be like, oh, it's Wednesday, maybe I'll do this. No, great athletes, great people, great successful people plan and schedule their days, and then they are disciplined and they stick to the schedule. If you actually want to re watch get results, which is why you're watching this video, um, if you were just someone who just kind of wanted to get better you would not be watching this video pick a schedule and stick to it right don't schedule out your entire day you know whether it's eight to nine in the morning or it's nine to ten or it's you know three to four in the afternoon doesn't matter pick the schedule that is best for you and stick to it so let's go into our final point on how you can make sure that you get results this summer quality reps versus quantity and this is going to be really easy to say, oh, I was in the gym for six hours today, coach. Well, how many hours were really quality? And also with that, don't just play on a club team or a recreation team just to play. If you are significantly the best player on the court, it is an absolute waste of your time to be playing with those people if you really want to get better. Now, if you just want to play and have fun, again, you probably wouldn't be watching this video if you just want to play and have fun. So, Make sure you're always playing against people that are better than you. When you're in the gym, right, I am making a plan, right, a, a plan to of attack that I'm actually going to get better at. Invite a friend and collaborate on your training plan. Train together. Push each other, right? Maximize your time when you are in the gym. It is not... If you're just, you know, walking through, doing layups, getting shots up, it's, it's not helpful. You are wasting time. You might as well just be sitting on the couch and, you know, playing video games, playing 2K. Because if you're not going through the motions, then you're intentionally trying to get better. Every single time, you should set an intention. I'm going to get better at my catch and shoot today. I'm going to go, I'm going to get better at my ball hunting. I'm going to get better at my crossovers and getting to the rim. We have to be super, super honest with ourselves and how we can maximize our time. So with that being said, right, if you have any questions about how you can maximize your summer, comment below, right? I, I'm I'm here to help you all. If you want to join our online community where, you know, I help you set up your commitments for the summer and you get weekly feedback, I'm happy to do that as well. So comment below. I will leave our links and our connections um, below as well. Um, I'm wishing you the best this summer. I'll continue to drop different videos on how you can best train, set up your training structures for your week and for your sessions. And that way you can continue to get results. But this is a best way to plan out your summer and actually get results. And if I'm going to leave you with anything, it's your responsibility. You have to be disciplined. It's not my responsibility. It's not your coach's responsibility. It is your responsibility to get better. Coach Furtado out. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to get better, baby.